Peggy 12. Project lead of uh, Victoria 2 and uh, the new uh, Heart of Darkness expansion. So with Heart of Darkness, this is now the second expansion for Victoria yeah. 2. So kind of in general, what does it add to the, the game that wasn't there in Vanilla and wasn't there in uh, House Divided? Greece is not known for its per terrifically strong starting position in Victoria 2. No! So you see the Ottomans have got all my good stuff. This is new map mode. I shows potential crisis areas, so everything blue here can turn into crisis. So this is not something that uh, a great nation can do, so uh, they're not allowed to, uh, to try and boost this. You might still get involved through uh, uprisings and stuff. I can show you how that works. So, go here and look this area that we want. Mm -hmm. See, it's striped. These are all areas that I can use and boost tension in using national focuses. Yeah, so, so this is new as well. So we have national focuses you can place on other countries, not just your own, so your course and other countries. Right, so as you can see, I can increase tension here. So it's about 9% a month, which is uh, pretty fast here. Sounds tense. Sounds tense, yes. So this will start heating up as we play. So as you can see here in the tooltip, hopefully that's readable. So there's um, the national focus is boosting it. There's also a base decay, like, because. And there's also a decay because of the great power ranking. So you'll have a much tougher time doing this to say Great Britain, because they're like the greatest nation. What you have to do is, uh, if you sphere nations, if you sphere everybody that's part of your union, then you can, you can form it. So what technology can you improve to uh, increase your tension or something in a, in a crisis? There's no way to actually increase uh, through technology. So mm -hmm. this, is, this is based on more of what's going on in the world. Um, so multiple things affect how this crisis develops. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not a crisis yet. We call it a flashpoint before it happens to become a crisis. So at the moment, it's 5% uh, here. And uh, we'll see how... We have three new sliders here instead of just one. It gives you a lot more control for your nation. If you have ships, you're going to be locked at minimum of 30%. Uh, so this is effectively a way to stop uh, dreadnought spam as well. You can never have a navy that costs you nothing. There's been a few things we've changed. Um, there's nothing major, like a new system or anything. But uh, we have changed it so that if you're in an uncivilized country, and you tick the, um, the military track. Um, what you get is a special power that lets you steal research points as you conquer new areas. So it's, it looks like you have a, a newspaper available to look at. Yes, Can we so check, take a look at that? Right, so this is one of our new things. So Ooh, it looks very Greek. It is a Greek paper. And, uh, but it's written I in English. I should remember what this uh, should say here, but uh, I don't actually remember the title anymore, what it means. Maybe someone from Greek can tell from Greece can tell me. But, um, we have about I think uh, over sixty newspapers. So depending on like what ideology rules your country, you get different papers. So you're gonna have, for example, as America, you'll have a fascist, a communist paper. Uh, I think a conservative, and uh, I don't know if there's a liberal. So there's there's lots of them, and they're. Some are made up, some are made to appear much like existing papers, so we don't get sued. Will there be any more nationalism in Victoria too? I mean, will more nations spring up? Has there been anything that's been added, not as necessarily a base nation that exists when the game starts, but one that has the cores or the ability to form? Well, we have um, this little island here. It's actually, the Mayan has now become own little country. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm looking forward to AERs with World Conquest from John Mayan. It's going to be <laughs> epic. Also, when you start having Great Wars, the Crisis Wars will become Great Wars, just like in history. So mm. you'll be having your Austria problems turning into World War I and, and things like that. It's a way of uh, boosting local stuff. So if you have, uh, say, a fabric factory and you make dye in the same province, then you will have uh, a throughput bonus so it'll be more efficient. Great. So you can, the idea is to get these sort of like economic centers where you will have, uh, you know, all your uh, 
furniture stuff is going to be here and dealing with wood and stuff and another place you will have fabrics and and clothes and stuff like that so so what happened here was that the crisis i was actually settled peacefully uh, because everybody joined my side so the uh so you gained territory so i ga gained territory without the war so what would have happened normally is uh now everybody joined my side mm -hmm. which was great thank you austria um they will also get a bit of a relation thing, so you can kind of count a little bit more on the same guys backing you next time. Basically, to, to become a powerful uh, colonial nation, you need to build naval bases. And there's other reasons to build naval bases, um, which is to be able to build ships. And because uh, they're capped to levels now, you can't just have low level bases building dreadnoughts. You need to have a certain level to build a certain type of ship. Okay. And the release date is. April 16th. Yes. Ooh. So it's uh, it's middle middle April. If yeah. you're American, it's the day after tax day.